Afghanistan's main airport in Kabul, which was left destroyed after the U.S. evacuation, may soon reopen. Qatar and Turkey are currently working with the Taliban to resume commercial flights, which could potentially open the door for more Afghans to leave the country. Meanwhile, the world's largest money transfer company has ended its suspension of services in Afghanistan. Che Min-jung with the details. Kabul airport, now under the control of the Taliban, will likely resume the operation of commercial flights. According to Reuters, the Qatari foreign minister on Thursday said in a press conference that the country is in talks with the Taliban to restart operations at the Kabul airport. We are trying our best to support now uh, bringing back uh, the airport to be up and running, and this is, uh, this is remaining our focus in the next short-term period. The foreign minister added that Qatar is working alongside Turkey to provide technical support. Technical teams from both countries flew to Afghanistan on Wednesday to help with the running of the facility. The reopening of the airport would play a vital role for those seeking to flee the country, as well as for countries wishing to provide humanitarian assistance. Money transfer services into Afghanistan will also resume. Western Union on Thursday said on Twitter that it will start its money transfer services into the country starting September 2nd. Also, beginning September 3rd for two weeks, the firm will not impose any transfer fees for any transactions into the country. The company says the move is in line with the United States' push to facilitate humanitarian assistance. Customers from around 200 countries will now be able to make transfers. According to the World Bank, the money that Afghans residing abroad remits back home is central to supporting the country's economy. Western Union and MoneyGram International previously suspended services in Afghanistan after the Taliban seized the capital. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.